Well, we start this half hour with continuing coverage of a massive fire in downtown Frankfurt. We first told you about the blaze on News 18 at noon. TNR pet grooming is completely destroyed along with surrounding businesses. News 18's Jordan Burroughs is live on the scene. He joins us now with an update on what the situation looks like. Hey, Jordan. I first want to tell you that the firefighter that we reported got hurt. He is totally okay. His name is, his name is Greg Miller, and he's a 30 plus year veteran with the Frankfurt Fire Department. His fellow firefighters told me that he fell through this second story that's above TNR pet grooming in the apartments. He was released from IU Health Arnett and is recovering at home right now. Frankfurt Fire Department and Lebanon Fire Department are on the scene. And Chief, Col Chief Kirby with Frankfurt told me that they will be here for the, at least the next eight to 10 hours until these embers, these hot embers, are not smoking and they can maintain this fire as best as they can. So, along with TNR Pet Grooming, as you can see, it's crazy just these other businesses that are completely destroyed as well. Frankfurt Sports Club is destroyed, and between the sports club and the pet grooming business is a vacant building. Now the Red Cross responded and was able to assist with the firefighters. We talked to Joe Root on the scene who owns TNR Pet Grooming and that's the building that caught fire. My wife would normally have been in here about 6.30 in the morning. She had no dogs today until noon so she didn't leave the house. She was still there. I'm, I was in my office in Old Stoney when I got the call and I immediately come over. Root says no people or animals were in the building at that time. If you look behind me, there are a couple of apartments that were above the sports club. One a single man lived in, the other one was a family of four. All five people are okay, and Red Cross also responded to help them and gave them financial assistance. Red Cross told me that neither apartment did have a smoke detector. Red Cross will install those for free anywhere in the state of Indiana. Just make sure to call your local Red Cross. Coming up at News 18 at 6, we'll give you an update exactly what is happening and what Red Cross told me about those families. Reporting live in Frankfurt, Jordan Burroughs, News 18. Well, thank you, Jordan.